Now, to kick off this second session, we have Kashmira Dula, who is the Safety, Health and Environmental Manager at the Sassel uh, Sin Fuels Operations in Secunda. Kashmira is here to tell us all about how she got started on her path and how you can get to be where she is today. Enjoy. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and um, thank you for allowing me to, to share uh, my experiences um, within the SHE environment at um, the TechnoX with you all. Um, so SHE stands for Safety, Health and Environment, and I'm sure a lot of you have already know about that. Um, but yeah, I'd like to share with you some of the career opportunities within the um, safety, health and environmental field. And uh, my area of expertise is within the environmental field. So I'm actually going to spend a little bit of time um, exploring some of the career opportunities within the environmental field with you all. Um, and these range from waste, water, land, biodiversity and air. And I'll also touch on some of the safety um, career opportunities um, towards the end of, of my session as well. So once again, Thank you all for allowing me to be here and I look forward to um, inspiring you all to explore an opportunity or a career opportunity within SHE and um, hopefully we will see you um, on our plant someday soon. So maybe let's kick off. Um, uh, like I mentioned, there'll be a number of um, uh, career opportunities that I'll share with you and these range all the way from environment to um, risk awareness, um, assurance and reporting as well. Um, so this is just a few um, photographs of um, our SHE team within the Secunda operation space. Um, so there's pictures there from the safety side, land and biodiversity, and at the bottom you will see the full um, safety team, health team, environmental team within Secunda operations. So let's kick off. Um, first up is waste management. Um, waste management is an environmental discipline that focuses on managing waste from where it is generated to its final use. So our role as waste professionals is to support the plant with effective waste management to prevent um, environmental harm um, through improper management of waste. Waste has specific laws associated with it that enables us to provide guidance to the operational team on appropriate ways to manage waste and to remain compliant with the law. Tasks within the waste um, scope include things like um, complying to legislation, um, applying for licenses, auditing the licenses that we have, um, auditing um, service providers that render um, waste management activities um, to our facility, and then also um, investigating and implementing innovative ways to manage waste. So these look at things like waste avoidance, waste recycling, um, treatment of waste, waste to energy. Um, our aim within um, Sassel is to um, get to zero waste generation. Um, so we, we work towards that. Um, and that's all about moving waste out of um, landfall. Um, so, yeah, we uh, also conduct analysis on our waste stream to understand opportunities that we have um, to divert these streams from landfill and to look for alternatives, um, uses of them. Um, and then we also track our waste data, train them, um, provide information to industry and also to various stakeholders, both internally and externally. And stakeholder management is one of our great focuses um, throughout the, the SHE discipline. Um, so yeah, technical information to support observations, um, trends, um, those are all added as part of um, the scope within the waste um, discipline. The next area that I'd like to share with you is around water management. Um, so we have a very um, good water management team within our uh, space and they provide input into the water management to operations to identify and address water related risks. Um, so similar to waste management, um, water has laws associated with it that enables us to improve uh, management practices on the site. Tasks within the water management space include um, assessing waste specialists in projects um, and to perform audits on our waste licenses. Um, the role is 
predominantly a 50-50 split in terms of field work as well as office work. So field work encompasses taking um, grab samples of, of water from in-stream sources, looking at flow measurements, um, sending the samples off to the laboratory. Um, and in order to take these samples, we make use of very specialized e equipment that also needs to then be calibrated. Um, we also do inspections of the uh, receiving environment and we identify pollution sources, because ultimately that's what we would want to stop, um, is the pollution sources entering our river sources. Office work con uh, consists of things like data capturing, processing the data that we've got, report writing, t trend analysis, and, and reviewing um, and understanding of the information that we've got to better inform um, projects and support that is needed to um, improve our water management systems. Planning, executing, and managing work um, with hydrological models is also important to understand and predict and to manage um, our water resource by using flow and quality um, data processing and report writing as, as, as a tool as well. Um, we also participate in investigations, incident investigations that have uh, a potential to impact water resources or that have already had an impact on water resources so that we can prevent future incidences from happening and put the, the correct controls in place to, to ensure that these don't happen in future. Um, and as mentioned with the, the waste um, discipline, um, we also have a very extensive um, stakeholder consultative approach that's followed um, with both internal and external stakeholders um, to ensure that we can manage our water um, quality and meet our objectives um, as per the required legislation. So the next um, discipline is actually a very exciting one. So in Sassel Secunda, we have a land and biodiversity team that um, has three main components to it. So we have a, a farming aspect, we have a biodiversity aspect, and then we have a, a specialist um, that looks at land and biodiversity with a very strong focus on contaminated land. So let's start off with the farming activity. The farming activity relates to um, commercial cattle farming enterprise, as well as a game unit um, that is found on our um, Sassel Secunda complex and is managed by the farming foreman. These activities include things like felt fire, uh, felt management, um, ensuring maximum uh, meat yield per production or uh, per hectare um, without damaging the felt. Um, it also looks at the herd health um, and the reproduction within these herds and to manage people within these teams um, and the productivity thereof um, to ensure that we meet the farming goals. Um, so part of this um, is also about um, uh, infrastructure maintenance um, within the farming areas as well as vehicle maintenance. Um, so as I'm sure you would um, understand if it is a farming, there's a lot of tractors, um, trucks um, within the, the, the farming space and, and all of that needs to be maintained. So the, that's the life pretty much of a farmer. Um, within the Sassel space. If we move on to what happens in the biodiversity space, so this looks at um, focusing on research on ecological aspects within the factory. Um, this is about conducting biodiversity assessments that all contribute to the state uh, to the greater state of biodiversity um, within our operational areas. Um, ecological surveys are also part of these um, uh, assessments that are done, and it focuses a lot on flora, fauna, uh, microorganisms, um, both on surface and in water as well. Um, so yeah, part of what's also included as um, biodiversity management is felt fire management. So um, in the high felt area, um, during the very windy seasons, the dry seasons, there's a great risk of fires, and managing these fire breaks is a very important part of what this team does. Um, so let's move on to the contaminated land specialist. And um, if you are searching for a career that allows you to enjoy the outdoors, um, conducting field work as well as some office work, this is perhaps an opportunity or a field you'd like to venture into. Um, the central duties of a contaminated land specialist looks at um, uh, if cost-effective ways and solutions to improve the conditions of um, the contaminated land within our um, uh, organization. And this typically looks at things like w trying to identify what is the source, what is the, the pathways that will enable contaminants to move, what are the receptors that will be effective, and try to eliminate those sources um, from the specific um, areas. 
Um, so yeah, uh, all the, the, the sub-functions within water, waste, land, and biodiversity require you to apply your knowledge of environmental um, aspects, um, to look at practical solutions um, in the field, um, and to apply them in your report writing to ensure proper solutions can then be put in order um, to, to minimize environmental harm. Next up is air quality. Um, so um, as an air quality um, professional within the team, um, the role is to look at supporting operations to improving the air quality with, uh, within the, the area that we work. Um, tasks within the air quality management team include leading and advising on environmental projects, looking at implementing technical solutions to improve opportunities um, within our organization's um, atmospheric footprint, um, undertaking research on environmental issues and to try and come up with um, innovative solutions to optimize our environmental performance. Um, to obtain, update, maintain environmental perf uh, performance um, plans um, to ensure we have our environmental licenses in the areas that we operate and to evaluate these systems to ensure that we continually improve and um, do not have further impact on the environment. Um, again, uh, the, the A um, subfunction is also very regulated by um, environmental re legislation. Um, so keeping abreast of environmental legislation is, is something that is, is very centered to, to what the A team does um, and ensuring compliance thereof. Um, again, report writing, evaluating, data trending, all of those sort of things um, remain um, part of core functions within the airspace. Um, so yes, uh, again, stakeholder management is one of those very um, uh, themes or um, concepts very central to, to environment. And, and we want to always ensure that we have transparent engagements both internally and externally. It really just helps strengthen um, our working part, our relationship with all our partners then. So yes, um, lastly, from um, the waterways, land and biodiversity, as well as the airspace, we always strive to ensure that we have education and awareness programs um, available to, to uh, educate our surrounding communities in terms of what Sassel Secunda Operations does and to um, yeah, um, show our commitment um, in terms of sharing that knowledge with them. Cool, so um, I'm going to move on to some of the safety topics then. So in the process safety space, um, process safety management is a discipline um, that looks at managing the integrity of the operating systems, um, the processes in terms of handling hazardous substances, and um, it's about applying good um, designs and ensuring principles and engineering um, aspects are all in place to ensure good operating principles. Um, so process safety really looks at the technologies that are in place um, to ensure that we can operate safely in our workspace. On the occupational safety side um, and, and health constituents, um, this is a system that deals with the prevention of injuries and illnesses related to work, um, as well as the um, protection and improvement of the environment um, and health of the employees. So this really does focus on, focus on making sure that um, our employees work safely, that we do not have any issues, um, any injuries, um, and everybody can continue to do um, well and operate well within their space. On the product stewardship side, um, their role is to promote the safety and sustainable management of chemicals throughout the life cycle or throughout the value chain um, within um, Sassel. So product stewardship is a shared responsibility um, between all the stakeholders um, within the value chain. Um, uh, product stewardship looks at things like um, chemical compatibility, um, creating safety data sheets for our project projects, creating safety data sheets for our waste streams, um, making sure that um, there is a good um, liaison with our transporters of both products and waste. So the, the role is actually quite diverse, but in a very important one. Um, within the SHE team, we also have a behavioral transformation uh, um, uh, position. And the behavioral transformation uh, within the SHE team is a discipline that focuses on understanding human behavior to assist um, leadership in managing employees. So it, it, it tries to look at why do people do 
um, certain things, why do they act in certain ways, and how does this contribute to ensuring um, the safety of our people, of our operations, and um, of everything that we do within the, the Secunda site. Um, and then lastly, um, I'd like to share a little bit in terms of risk assurance and um, reporting. Um, and, and this team focuses on monitoring and governance um, within the SHE space, um, looking at the reporting systems, making sure that um, we have um, systems that are working for us, that are in line with um, specific standards, and that we maintain our um, certificates to operate our, uh, within our spaces. Um, so yeah, it, it really is a very diverse team. Uh, we really do look at um, a number of aspects that are important to ensuring safe um, production of, of chemicals and um, uh, petrol products or petroleum products as well. And yeah, uh, I think in conclusion, I, I really hope that um, some of these topics or um, career opportunities will inspire you to take up um, some science um, sort of topics as part of your career um, aspirations. And um, I hope I have sparked um, some interest within the SHE team um, and hopefully on the environmental side as well. Um, we all know that there's a very big drive in terms of looking at um, protecting the environment, um, sustainable development within the environmental space, um, climate change, um, reducing our footprint. And all of that is really something that you would be able to focus on within the, the SHE team. It really is something that forms part of our roadmaps, part of our way we do and conduct our day-to-day -day operations and business. And I really look forward to um, hearing from some of you after the session. If you have any questions, please do feel free to, to contact me. Um, if I don't have the answers, I will definitely put you in contact with some of the people that are experts in the field. And um, yeah, looking forward to, to seeing you guys join the organization one day. Um, thank you very much.